Welcome to this video tutorial on using KDEN Live. Here we can see the KDEN Live interface. On your handout is on page 3. We have the toolbar up here with many options in there. We have our project bin area here. We have the properties area here. We have the get rid of that one. We have the all the um, different transitions that you can do over here in the selector. And we have our timeline down the bottom here and our preview area here. To bring files into Kden Live, we can either click on the button over here to add clips um, or folders, but I find that this is actually rather confusing to use as you need to tell it what type of file you want to be looking for, and then you need to go and find out where it is. I'm going to click Cancel here. A much easier way is to know where your files already are, and you can click and drag them into Kden Live straight into the project bin over here. If you get this message to switch to Clip Profile HD, and the rest, we can say yes, it's trying to match the um, project to the video file type. So we can just say uh, switch to that. To get started in Kden Live, all we need to do is grab the first video that we want to grab. In this case, um, as per the downloaded instructions, we're going to grab the um, one here and we're going to grab it and drag it down onto our timeline here. Now, if you, if you see the options, I can put this in either video one or video two, but I can't put it into the audio tracks, tracks because obviously it is a video, not an audio. We're going to grab our next one, which is going to be the spoons. And we're going to put that um, here. And we're going to see how that looks. We can start this by pressing, making sure we're on the timeline and press the space bar. And then we can see up in the top right hand corner in the preview here, we can see our video going along. You can see in the timeline, we have the um, position moving along here. And then when it gets to the spoons, it switches straight over to that one. I can press spacebar at any time to stop it, or when it gets to the end, it'll stop itself, which is what it's done in that case. The next clip we're going to add is the billiard balls. This time we're actually going to move it onto the top track into video two, and we're going to give it a little bit of an overlap here. About halfway should be fine. Let's see what happens if I move my position to here on the timeline and I press spacebar on my computer it needs a bit of a moment to think about that so you'll see the spoon one does not get a chance to finish the billiard balls because it is above it in the timeline it overrides it so there's actually an easy way that we can also shorten this clip to make it fit a bit better. If I put my cursor over this part of the clip, we can see that if I hold down left click and drag it, we can actually shorten the clip. This is actually going to cut the first part of the clip. It doesn't actually um, compress it at all. And we're actually going to leave just a little bit of overlap about that much. Um, and we're going to add a really simple transition. And this is one of the things I love about Kden Live. A lot of other programs make this um, quite difficult to do, but in here it's really easy. Before I do this, I'm just going to zoom in first. I'm going to set my point here. It's on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. We have the little zoom slider here. I'm going to left click that and drag it to the right a bit. You see the timeline is zooming in. A quick note about the numbers that you can see up here. These numbers can be very confusing. Uh, starting from the right and moving left, we have how many frames, how many seconds, minutes, and hours. Now the frames is a bit of a confusing one because it depends on what the video file has been set up as. In this case, I think it was 23 frames. So for every 23 frames, one second will pass. So here we can see this is 12 seconds. This is 12 seconds and 12 frames. Uh, here we have 13 seconds, 13 and 12. And if I zoom in further, you'd see that more, but that's fine for now. Just keep in mind that it is from right to left, how many frames, how many seconds, how many minutes, and how many hours. In Kden Live, it's really easy to add transitions. To do so, put your mouse cursor down the bottom left-hand corner of the video in question. At the moment, you see I have a whole hand. If I move it down to the bottom left very slowly, it changes over to a pointy hand, and it has a little description that pops up there too. Click to add compositions. All I have to do is left-click once, and it automatically adds in a wipe transition. Let's see how that looks now. I'll just move back in the timeline a little bit and press the spacebar button again. Here we see the spoons, and as the gets to here, it wipes and fades into the billiard balls. Fantastic. 
pressing spacebar again pauses it. If I want to watch that again, I can click back here and press spacebar again. That's pretty cool. That's some very easy video editing done right there. Let's move back to the very start of our clip. There's a few ways we can do that. Pressing the home key will take us to the start of the current clip. Home key on the keyboard. Holding down control and pressing home will take us right back to the very start. That's a great way if you've gotten lost, how to get right back to the start. As I demonstrated before, clicking down the bottom left would give us a, um, a screen wipe. However, there is another way. If you put your cursor to the top left corner, you'll get a little green circle. If I left click and drag this time, I'm gonna make this three seconds long. I know that it's three seconds, couple of different ways here. We can see underneath, well, right next to my hand icon, that we have uh, three seconds and a few frames. Now it's exactly three seconds. You can also see up here, we are very close to the, the three second mark. If I now make sure I'm at the start, which I am, and press space bar, we should have a three second fade in. Two and three, and there we go. Now the picture's up to full. Uh, another way to zoom in and out, and one of my favorite shortcuts on the computer in all time is holding down the control key and using the, the mouse wheel to pull backwards towards you to zoom out and away from you or upwards to zoom in. Sometimes though, this can end up being in a place that's very, very confusing. So once again, if you zoom out again, you should be able to find where you are. If I click here and zoom in, it should take me over to here. So now we have our three clips. If I come down here to the bottom, we can also use the scroll bar. It's very hard to see. Uh, but if I actually click the scroll bar and pull to the left, we can see we have our, our source clip here. We have the spoons immediately after, and then we have the billiards um, clip on top. And we did it on top so that we could have a transition between the two. If the two clips are together like this, you cannot do a transition between them. You must have an extra layer. What's really cool though, is if we want to transition to another clip, I'm gonna drag this along just a little bit. I'm gonna grab the piano one here and I can put it down here on this, this other layer down here. Put it about there. Now, can anyone remember how I would add a transition to this one? If you said click the little button on the bottom of the clip, you'd be right. Now I can also adjust this one as well. If I want to uh, move this along a bit this way, I can also click my arrow here, drag it across, and we've just increased the, the length of that. So we actually uh, make sure we're in the right spot and press space bar to see how that looks. Hmm. I think we might need to adjust that a little bit. Let's drag this over, play it from about here and have a look. Let's have a change to the piano just after that last ball falls into the pocket. There, a bit more. Okay, so I can move my cursor to the end here, click and drag this back to here. I can click and drag this one, as long as I have the, the whole hand icon. The whole hand icon means grab and drag. And if I do it like this, how does that actually look? Ball falls in while the piano is changing. You know what, I don't actually like that. But what's really clever is if I bring this back over, I can actually un sort of clip the end of that one and leave a bit of extra space. A great editing tip whenever you're recording footage is to always leave space for editing. So before you start recording, leave a few seconds blank and then after you finish recording, leave a few extra seconds as well. This will help a lot when you are editing videos. So to give yourself some extra space to um, be able to make these kind of adjustments. Once again, I can adjust the transition here. Let's take it back a little bit and have another look. Ball falls in, then it transitions. That's not too bad. If I increase this, I think I get a bit of black screen, which I probably won't want. I think that's okay. This is the problem with video editing though. If you have half an hour footage, it'll take you at least an hour to edit it. We're going to add one special effect to this last clip of the piano, and then we're gonna do something with it called keyframing. To do so, we're gonna go into the special effects area here and type in RGB, and we are looking for RGB adjustment. To add a special effect, all we need to do is click and drag it onto the clip that we want the effect to be applied to. With this clip selected, the properties for the special effect will pop up here. If you have multiple effects, each one will be listed here. For the RGB adjustment, I'm actually going to grab here. It has its own little timeline. You actually see if I drag it here, the timeline down the bottom changes. 
and we're going to set it to be we're going to start it being blue so i can just actually increase the amount of blue decrease the amount of other colors there and then if i bring our cursor back here and press spacebar we'll see that the piano now has this really bright blue filter over it which is really easy to add if you want the color to change throughout the process i can bring the cursor back to a certain point and i can add a new keyframe by clicking the plus key here and let's say we want to make it a nice warm sort of red color instead bring up the red maybe a bit of green in there that's actually quite a nice color as long as my cursor is in the spot i'm going to see what the color is going to look like at that point so if i want to see how it's going to look at the start i can click here and by the end it's going to be that color and then let's see how that looks all together it starts off as bright blue and you see it shift through the colors yeah very nice if i wanted to put a um a fade to black which is always a nice way to end a, a video just click at the top of this clip and drag this way same way we did back here at the start i'm just going to scroll to the left here we clicked and dragged to bring this one over here once again you can still adjust it very easily i'm going to scroll back to the right again too far and we can adjust that as well where is it there it is um, it tells me at the cursor how many seconds it's going to be let's go for three seconds keep it the same more or less and then as it fades into red it'll also start to fade out mm, maybe too much this is where you also spend a lot of your time fiddling with things it's very hard to get to a point where you go yes i'm just going to leave it and let's have it fade out about there a much shorter fade you'll see the difference here there we go so I just added another file here to my files that i'll be uploading uh, for the resource pack it's a song called A New Beginning by an artist named Ben Sound who produces royalty free music. So it's a very good place to use um, sound because you will not get in trouble for it. And once again, I can just click and drag that into my project bin. Really super easy to add sounds. Now because this is um, audio, uh, I need to click and drag this into the, um, one of the audio channels. You can see here, I'm trying to pull it to the left to get it to the start and it is sort of slowly moving along. It would be easier if I just uh, drag this across here and then put it here. I want it to start at the start. I'm going to put it down there. And then I don't know if the sound's going to come through. We'll give this a try. And okay. My cursor was at the end of the clip there, even though my my um, I was at the start of the timeline, control home, and that sound is way, way too loud. So I'm just going to turn that way down. Um, we can also do that in the video as well. There we go. That is nice. Another adjustment we can add to make this a bit quieter is the gain. I can just drag the effect once again onto here. And then when I click on the clip, I get the special effects for it, uh, the, the properties. And I can just decrease the gain to, let's say, 56%. Much more gentle. We can also see up the top right hand corner here how loud it is. If these bars are spiking all the way to the right, it's too loud and it would actually come up as red. That's actually quite a nice level. Now because this song is longer than the entire clip, I can zoom out a little bit, put the cursor here at the end, drag it across a little bit, and we can use a tool that we haven't used before, which is the scissors tool. Uh, I showed you before that you can click and drag a clip to, to shorten it. We can also use a scissors tool, and then we need to switch back to the normal one, and then we can click on that and actually just delete that. Now that we've finished all our editing that we want to do for this clip, to finish up, we can click the render button, select MP4, and render to file. Uh, at the moment, I did not give it a name, so I'm actually going to click no to that. We can actually also give it a name here. Test video, and then click render to file. Depending on how big your video is, how many elements it has, um, how long it is, what um, quality of video it is, this can take anywhere from a few seconds to over a few hours. The more powerful computer will also make this process a bit faster too. All right, that's all done. You can never get to the path where it's, in, where it's been saved to. And then if we double click that, we should see our video. See the nice transition, has the nice music. Cuts to the spoons. 
billiard balls, and finally piano. Very nice. Congratulations, you have now completed this tutorial.